today I wanted to show you how you can go about checking these bait stations. These uh, have poison in them, kill rodents, tracks the rodents and then they eat it and they'll die. The uh, important part about this is you want to make sure that you minimize all food sources that die. Uh, you're picking up any kind of fruit or anything that they might eat instead of this. If this is the only thing that there is for them to eat, that's what they're going to eat. If they can find something more delicious, obviously they're going to eat that. Uh, they especially love citrus trees, citrus fruit, lemons, oranges, like that. Anyway, when you go to check these, what you want to do is give it a good tap and make sure there's nothing in there. That way if there's anything in there, it'll run out of there. And then what you can use to open these is a special key. This is, uh, if you don't have one of these, you can get these at pest control places. You might find them online. Also might, uh, there's a hawk just flew by, sorry. See him flying around? Right up there. That's a hawk right there. Wow. Also looks like a crow or something up there. Pretty cool. Pretty nice day. too often. It's like they're just enjoying the wind. It's a nice windy day. Palm Springs. Anyway, back to what I was showing you here. That's natural pest control. I just showed you. It's some hot. I'll take care of the pests. Okay, anyway, with this uh, special key here, what you do is insert it down into the keyhole opening. Back to open the box. It's not always the easiest thing to get into. Especially this particular brand. Some of them are easier than others. When anyway, we're looking at our bait box here, we're not seeing any activity up here. These have been up here for a while, so so that's good. Not getting any rodents up here. Good thing. It's still good to have. If we were, if there was anything coming up here, they'd be snacking on that. Have a snack attack and go to Forever. Nice beautiful day out here in Palm Springs. Try to show you. See how beautiful? Very nice day. Usually it's a lot warmer. It's pretty cool today. What you want to do is make sure there's no cobwebs and stuff at the entrance points. Um, also want to make sure it's placed in a good spot. Now, uh, rodents, mice, and rats and such, what they like to do is hug against the wall, against the corners, and the reason being, because if they're traveling in that corner, their prey is usually birds. Uh, hawks and such, they'll swoop down, snatch them up, and eat them for little snack attack. So what they'll do to only have one side where they might get attacked is hug the corner. So when you're placing bait stations, uh, you'll want to put them up against that side. Now this one's actually put in backwards. You can see the opening is not up against the wall. Though it is, has been getting some hits, you can see droppings that have the poison in the droppings, which is great. That means they're eating the bait and not getting in anybody's place or anything like that. Instead, they're eating the poison, going off and dying. Poison makes them extremely thirsty. They go around and looking for water. Anyway, when checking the bait stations, what you want to do is give it a few little kicks on the top. That way, if anything's in there, you don't, it doesn't jump out at you. Rather, it vacates and, and runs rather than you opening it and having one come running at your face. So anyway, this one I'm going to flip around the other way so that the hole is towards the back. You can see more droppings under there. It's a good sign. What I have here is a special key for opening this box. You can also do it with a screwdriver if you needed to in order to check these and make sure your pest control service is servicing them like they should. 
You might ask them if they have an extra key they can give you for this very purpose, or you can order a key um, online. Okay, this box is, some of them open easy, some of them not so easy. This one I'm probably gonna need a combination of the screwdriver and the key. There we go. Okay. Now, you want to make sure that these are set on the posts or in the wedged into the, the side pieces. These are a little freer than I'd like them to see, to see them. Yeah, but we're definitely getting some bites on these. And you can see plenty of droppings inside also. Again, I'd rather see these wedged in like so. The other thing about wearing gloves uh, when you check the bait stations is you're not going to be leaving your scent on the bait box. Uh, the rodents won't like the scent so much and they may avoid it. What happens is they leave a pheromone trail where they go and other critters will follow their scent. So their cousins and stuff will follow the same scent and go eat some, some uh, poison tacos and then they're going to go off and die. So you're going to do exactly what you want it to do. Uh, you want to trim any kind of fruit trees regularly, keep any alternative sources of food gone. That way they're eating just solely from the bait boxes and th that way your, your bait boxes are going to be doing their job. You're going to get rid of your the uh, rodent population, eventually drive them to the outer edges of your property and from there you can aggressively bait where it's less and less visible and exterminate them, get rid of them.